Hey everyone, welcome back to Kehan Al Bashar, where today we are building the Garden of Paradise from my shop. And I originally did not know that the garden was actually named in game, but through research I found out that it was. So, yeah, we're building the Garden of Paradise. And I also did not know originally if I wanted to go with the in game garden, but as you can see, I eventually decided to go with that and not make my own version of the garden. Although, it might have been a lot simpler if I did make my own version because Planet Zeus scale is obviously quite different than, let's just say, Assassin's Creed scale. But anyway, so we are starting off with building the back facade of the keep, which was a little bit, well, the lower part was easy to build because in certain cutscenes you just get a clear front view of it. However, the higher or, yeah, the higher parts of the facade i did not get a good look at so i basically just built these well the front door or at least it's the back door but from here it looks like the front door and then the balcony that's i'm going to miss just completely butcher his name or at least the pronunciation because even though i heard it thousands of times i still can't properly say it but uh, al mualim yeah he at the end of the game, I don't think I should give like a spoiler warning because I think by now the game is like 20 years old. Although Assassin's Creed Revelations is a little bit younger, but let's just go with the original Assassin's Creed game. But uh, yeah, that's basically where he shouts at you. So I did include those parts, but because I did not get a very clear view, like I saw one window, but I don't know what's above the balcony. I basically left those places a little bit more empty and maybe when because i actually bought the original assassin's creed game it was always one of those games where i liked it but i never really could go back to it i think for some people it's the same with assassin's creed 2 where it's just the game has aged it's not a bad game but it just it's so different from everything that's put out now that's just like it's weird to go back into also yes i died immediately because i forgot all the mechanics of yeah, let's just say Assassin's Creed mechanics and Assassin's Creed 2 mechanics are uh, just different enough that it messes me up. So yes, I died. But anyway, so I, well, I do have to say actually this video today is a lot longer than usual. Or at least a lot longer than the usual around 25 minutes because I spent a lot of time building. Because let's just also just get this right out of the gate, I had to move the entirety of the castle. Because there is going to be a mountain road back alongside the castle or to the back of the castle or if you look at it from in-game it's like to the right side of the castle but from like Planet Zoo it's just the back of the map. Yeah, it's confusing but let's just say the garden was a lot larger than I anticipated, especially going into the more mountainous area of the Mirage Mountains. So basically I just had to move it, otherwise I could not implement the garden. Or I would have need to make my shelf also built on a mountain and not on a floating island. So yeah, I did not do this with the station, but I think it shows that by basically sort of rebooting the entirety of Kayan al-Bashar, I have a little bit more passion and inspiration for it so that I could just go through with moving the entirety of the castle even after it was almost completely done. So we're not going to finish the castle in its entirety today, we're just building the garden because as I said, it's going to take a while because I did not foresee that I needed to do so much and I'm going to do a lot of things off screen because there was a lot of things where I either built it too big which I always say is not that bad if you build it too big but here because I'm building off a reference and because I'm having a little bit of area restrictions building it too big is kind of a bad thing and in some cases I actually built it too small so Later on we will build a tower which is, well it's not really a tower but it's sort of a tower. 
but uh, yeah I built it too small so I had to redo that of course I did cut that out I originally intended for it to be in the video so that you guys could see that yes not everything that I built works out immediately first try but um, yeah I had to cut it out otherwise you would have a 15 minute video because most of the time when I make a video or speed fill build it usually building wise it takes like 30 not not 30 but three hours I don't know where I got 30 from but usually it takes like three hours of building or in some cases four but then I cut it out today's video took six hours actually given with the research and such it took closer to 12. Yeah, it were a lot of times where I just had to look up a lot of like playthroughs of Assassin's Creed because I just bought it because I wanted to see how Damascus and such looked. But um, yeah, it took a long time because you just have to get that just the right frame to see just that tiny little detail in the building that you otherwise in game would just completely forget about because it's not that remarkable of a building. So yeah, I some places i did not see and so i try to make my own spin of it because yeah i can't try and play through the entire game just for one video or at least i couldn't do that in the time span i give myself so uh, yeah today we are looking at basically six hours worth of building and then a lot longer when it comes to doing all the research for it and through all that, well, all the research, as I call it, which is basically just looking through all the forums where people talk about Assassin's Creed, I found out that this garden had a name. I originally just thought, oh, this is just some nameless garden. I didn't know that it was like a reference to like the mythos or something that being an assassin gave you like access to paradise or, well, basically it's you got high and then you thought you were in paradise because I think the original story with the real life counterpart of the assassins was that you got hash <laughs> and then you just went high and saw paradise and uh, yeah I did actually place later on this is much later on actually I placed a lot of those Tatura plants and I also thought to build hash plants or hashish or something so yeah I did not place the hash is or I think it's just the weed but I didn't place those because it would be a little bit too obvious maybe but uh, yeah let's just move on to what we're actually building because the actual garden part was actually the easier thing to build because we're right now building the what I would say is the harder part because let's just say it's the sort of like extensions to the keep or at least I call them towers earlier on but they are not really they're more like I think living quarters or something or just decoration well in game they're obviously just decoration but here like I built this actually too small because I did not have place for the canopy that's going to be attached to it because the canopy is this L shape and I made that but then I found out oh this is not large enough to support the canopy that's actually just front and center in game so what you see me build right now is actually too small so what I build now is two walls or it's like 8 by 8 meters in the end I built something that's 12 by 12 meters but it still uses all the same things it's just larger so I did not think like, oh, I should probably record a new one because, well, it's pretty much the same thing. It has the dome on top, it has these weird, well, later on it has some windows, which I did not think I would have to build myself. I thought I could just use in-game windows, but no, they look too different. Also, well, basically everything about this building had to be redone in some way or another, because... Yeah, let's just say I see or I saw like one version of it and like from one angle and then later on to research on another part of the garden. I saw a different angle and it looked a little bit different and then I just thought like, 
All right. But this is also actually where I needed to move the entirety of my shelf because this garden, it doesn't extend that much to the side where there's basically nothing. So that was in a way, I was happy with that so that I have like more space to build the actual desert area, like the ground floor of Kayan al-Bashar. However, it did extend a lot into the one side that I didn't want it to extend into, which is the part where the Mirage Mountains were. So there was already just a little bit of space left there for the mountain roads. I could not build the mountain roads because, well, in the original location, the garden would just completely engulf it. So yes, uh, the entirety of my shaft that you see built now, I think it's like moved to the front by, let's say, 20 meters or something like that. So, uh, interesting, but <laughs> because I did not want to go through that with the station, but for my shaft, I'm doing that. Although it was a little bit easier because my shaft is maybe 40k, maybe 60 at most. And the entire station was the size of most entire zoos. So, a little bit easier. Still did not think I would do that. But yeah, so for... This is actually the canopy that I'm talking about, so... It's a little bit different, of course, than in-game, because we... Well, I don't have the same pieces to make it completely the same. However, it's pretty close. Also... Those arctic pack pieces, especially those wooden pieces, are a real lifesaver. Especially those lattice things, I still think I'm pronouncing it wrong, I still think that it's not the correct word for it, but... Especially those things, throughout Kayan al-Bashar, those really just work wonders. Well, they don't really work if you want to build an actual open window where you have the light going through it, but... Um, they do work if you want to have that feeling of like a lattice window without actually having a window built from just random climbing pieces. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so to the window that I originally did not think I had to build myself, but then I found out that it looked way too different in Assassin's Creed than any window we have in-game. So uh, yeah, I built it myself later on. And... Uh, this is, I think, one of the few pieces in this entire build that has not changed. Or at least, of course, the placement has changed because I made the building bigger. But it's still like four windows, it has the same shape, it's actually still the same thing as you see me build right now. And then there was this extension. And uh, this one was rebuilt again, because in-game it's a little bit more... Well, it doesn't look as tall as it does here. It looks a little bit more chunky, I would say. Just a little bit broader. So, what you see me build right now... Gone. <laughs> However, it's so similar to what I've built later on that I think it still holds true to like... This is how it sort of looks like as in the finished build. Which I do not make the after video views for as much in the, well, in the entirety of the Mirage Mountains, but it has a little bit of a reason, which I'm not going to into now because it's a secret. But anyway, so yeah, the entirety that you see now is in a way gone, but also not because it's still there just in a different way. So, in a way, it actually helped because the things that you see me build not right now, I don't know what they're named. And you guys know I'm terrible with finding the names or just remembering the names of certain architectural pieces. But uh, yeah, in-game there were like five or six of these and I only had space on this one for four. So, by making the building go from a... 8x8 eight eight to a 12x12 12 12 building, I have more space. And here you can see where I messed up, because the canopy doesn't fit the building. So, uh, yeah, that's the re entire reason why this thing went from an 8x8 to, eight to a 12x12 12 12 building. Again, I'm not going to show that on screen, because it's basically the same thing. It's just the walls that I already built duplicating them, 
moving the windows around so that you still have four windows just like it is in game. And then I did the rest of all of that building work off screen because yeah that would have been two hours. Just refitting the entirety of my shelf into what I already had. So uh, yeah now we're actually building the garden which was surprisingly easier compared to other buildings because well first of all we have both the Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed Revelations of course to get references from although even then the wall that I built right now is wrong because in game it's actually rounded I don't know why I made it just a straight wall I do rebuild it off screen into a rounded wall but for some reason my memory just said Oh yeah, this was completely straight. No, it was actually rounded. Which also made sense because on top, like, the garden is separated into basically four terraces. The top terrace has like, well, one of the two fountains. And I could not make it line up correctly with this straight wall. And then later on I found out, oh, the reason I could not line it up correctly is because this wall is supposed to be rounded. So that was the entire reason why you the first draft of this, well, is it really a fountain? It's basically just a very smart or very small, not very smart, but very small sort of canal looking thing. But uh, yeah, in the end, I had to change the wall. The fountain part did not change actually because I did remember that one clearly and also it's like the front and center of the final mission of Assassin's Creed so also yeah there's supposed to be like a fence or I think you call it a balustrade on these uh, stairs but I think by this time I was just like yeah uh, that's too small to build and we don't have the right pieces and I'm a little bit tired so I basically just made them into rock parts and then uh, moved on so yeah there I always say like um it's inspired by myself, it's not going to be completely the same. Although most of the garden actually is. Those terraces, I this is actually where I was very happy that there are like maps of the entirety of my shelf. I mean there are maps in the, all of the Assassin's Creed games, but especially with my shelf, it was just very easy to find like oh the just the entire terrain work and all of that I can basically pick up from the maps of Assassin's Creed. So I usually make things from scratch and don't really like I build as I want I don't really have like a predefined image or at least I do know like oh I want to build this and this but when I actually come to building it I usually just wing it in a way like I just think like Oh yeah, I want to have this part and I imagined to build this. I mean, the Red Panda Island, I did not think I was going to build. But then I just thought like, alright, I want something here. And then a Red Panda Island just appeared. Yeah, that sounds really like I just wish on a star and then it just appears. But of course, we all know that uh, usually it takes three hours to appear. But uh, here I actually do make the rounded wall. Although this one... I had to have, I think it's like the third Altair Air or Altair mission in Assassin's Creed Revelations where they really just go through the entire garden, which I'm really happy with. Although, again, like you get only the well ground level view, so most of like the upper parts of the garden, such as with those towers, with the facade or the back facade of the keep, you don't really see so. There I'm completely free to imagine whatever I want because I did not see it and even though I like to do research for it but let's just be completely honest at sometimes I'm just like yeah I just want to build I don't want to spend a whole day on research and then just completely build something that's because that's a little bit of like the case with building things from well trying to recreate things I would say from games or real life things sometimes it becomes really like oh yeah this is not really how it looks like so we i can't build this so that's really the reason why i 
don't usually try to recreate a building from real life because in a way I mean I'm really impressed if someone can do it but I usually my squirrel brain takes over halfway through and I want to build it my way which I think I got because my shelf is floating so I got my way in some ways and in some places I just thought like alright this is better if I do it the way that it's in game. But uh, the terraces I really actually love also remember to save your zoo because I think halfway through building I think the facade or it's the tower my game actually crashed or at least building the rebuild of the tower because no actually no it didn't it actually crashed after I built the entirety of the garden miraculously it crashed when I built the potting system for the mountain roads so yeah ma <laughs> the potting system just sometimes crashes the game but uh, yeah please remember to save when you're building so uh, yeah the terraces actually worked out pretty good I think the third terrace or the second to or yeah second to last terrace I think is a little bit different in shape or at least in placement of the rounded part but uh, yeah I just after a while you just stop caring a little bit about that it still looks pretty much the same so I just gave it a pass and moved on and this is where I again just as with the what was it oh yeah the first terrace where I thought it had a straight wall I made a little bit of a memory mistake where I thought it looked different but then I found out it didn't but uh, I originally thought that these columns or just these sort of arches were Roman or at least like Roman ruins no they are actually recently built or at least that's how they looked like so I also this is a garden so I shouldn't talk about oh this is not functional or something like that but it just looks weird to me it's like yes it looks good when it's completely built but then especially if you take all the plants away it looks a little bit weird so I just thought like all right I'm going to use this but um, yeah it's somehow just especially just when you take all the plants away it just looks kind of strange it looks really fancy like so I mean kudos to you but um, from like uh, plants and such and garden it looks a little bit strange but also this is a thing where I did change the garden up a lot because in game the garden like it's supposed to be the garden of paradise but it's not really that lush so that's something I did change however these well arches which again I think they look good and they are pretty iconic I think for the garden but when you just take all the plants away it just it looks strange it looks weird <laughs> it's first of all there are two of these circles but then there's also a third one which is basically I think like three of these arches along the second to last terrace and um, yeah I mean I love how they look in the end but when you just see them without any plants I think I said this now for the fifth time it looks very strange but I really actually like how the garden right now if you go down from the mountain road or go up I actually made this off screen I think just before I started recording I built a little bit of like a vantage point or a lookout point so that you can actually look inside the garden because this garden is not accessible by the peeps there's also like I could have built it into a peafowl habitat but then I just didn't want to do that because I don't care about animals and planets too <laughs> no I really just because the garden is kind of like very secluded very like you have to be like a certain rank or something or you have to have like these certain go in things I just thought like all right let's make this completely off limits to the guests of Khan al-Bashar to the guests of Mashaf it's only there if you are actually an assassin which I don't know if I'm going to have like the references or have it imagined as like 
really like these Assassin's Squid games are in Karan al Bashar, or if these are literally just blades for hire, basically. And here is another thing which I basically... Well, actually, what you see right now is the in-game thing, which I built first. I think, this, yeah, the same thing actually went for the arches. Yeah, I built them too large. So the first version of... I think this is just like some kind of gazebo. But uh, the first thing that I built was a little bit too large. So usually I don't mind it if something ends up being a little bit larger than I originally thought. I mean that usually happens. But uh, here it was just like it's on the second to highest tier. So it's the second tier going down all the, well, all the terraces. But there's a very limited amount of space, so in the end, I had to make it smaller and end up with what you see right now. So, the arches were first off bigger than you see right now, and this gazebo was first off bigger than I originally built. So, two things ended up being smaller, and the tower slash whatever that other thing is, ended up being larger. So, uh... Yeah, right now we are going more into beautifying the garden or just putting in all the plants. Which, as I said before, really makes those arches actually work. Also, this is where I take the biggest turn from the actual in-game version of the garden. Because in-game, the garden is pretty much barren. Like, it's the garden of paradise, but there's like a few cypress trees. There's one or two, I think they're olive trees or something similar to that. Which, I just use the Sudanese incense trees for because they look pretty similar. But uh, yeah, in-game the garden is pretty bland. It, there's not that much of like, you know, that paradise feel. Whereas when I think of paradise, I just think of very lush garden-like things. Like almost, not completely jungle-esque, but still have that lushness. So, I did change that, and also maybe, well, maybe if they built Assassin's Creed nowadays, maybe they would also make it this lush, because, let's face it, a game from, uh, I don't even know how old it is, I'm just guessing that's like around 20 years old now, because I do know that it came around when uh, I was maybe 5, so yes, I'm a little bit older than the game, I, like I'm still guessing with like, was I 5 because I'm also guessing that it's like around 20 years old which still makes me a little bit older than the game. Yeah I just changed all of that lushness and maybe if they built the game now they would also make it that lush because let's face it graphics wise games from uh, the early 2000s maybe even the 1990s aren't that lush or at least not when it comes to like how the Assassin's Creed games look. So I just changed that up a lot. So it's going to be a lot of just jumping around. Thinking can I place a tree here without making it look completely out of place. That's basically what I did. So most of the cypress trees are actually how they appear in game. So actually from now on most of the cypress trees that I place now on aren't. But the ones that I built beforehand. Ours. But uh, this is also where I place a nice little reference to the collectibles that you have in game. So in the original Assassin's Creed game there are these assassin flags that you can collect, two of which are in a gun. And as I said, most of the references, most of the like research of this gun went from playthroughs. So one of those were like how, where to find all the assassin flags because two of them are in the garden. So there were some nice little points where I could see like, oh, I did not see this originally. So just as a reference to that, there are two flags in this garden which you can collect. So uh, I originally just did not intend to build that, but then it was just like, yeah, I took a lot of research from just watching people play the game and then pausing it at just the right frame. So uh, yeah, I think uh, the final no battle, I think, with Al Mualim. I have it paused on just the right moment, just to have the biggest view of the facade. But um, we're closing in on the end of the garden, so 
I originally intended this to be the last episode of myself, also I intended for today's video to be the new series, but I'm going to again push that back because I want to finish this off because then it just feels better when you finish something off and not leave something unfinished and then move on to something else, or at least temporarily move on to something else. So we're finishing off my shelf and then we will start thinking again about the new series. Which I... No, I'm not going to give any teasers right now. Maybe in the next video. Which is actually going to be the video where we finish off my shelf. So basically add one extra episode to what I say. That's usually the rule of thumb when it comes to my videos and how long things take. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, I hope to see you back. And I wish you all a lovely day. Bye-bye.